One of the worst things we can do to our creative growth is blame everyone and everything for our shortcomings. And this is why photography has become one of my most favorite hobbies, because the more open and honest you are with yourself, the better you get over time. It makes me work on myself on many levels that I can then use in other aspects of my life. And that brings me to today's topic. Whenever we pick up a new hobby, we become enamored with it. I mean, we become obsessed. We absorb every little bit of information and we can't stop thinking about it. It's like a new door to life has been opened. But then that bright room you just stepped into starts to get kind of dark. You start to hit mental block. The work that we once cherish starts to become not good enough. We're not improving at the rate that satisfies us. And worst of all, you have an idea you want to execute, but the lack of experience that you have prevents you from doing it no matter how hard you try please let me know in the comments if you've ever felt this way and then before we know it we forget why we even fell in love with this newfound passion let me tell you something i've done it all i taught myself how to play guitar craft designer things out of leather i did brazilian jiu-jitsu for a year learn how to play billiards or pool at a very high level listen some of these things that i just listed off i'm way better than than others but see they all have something in common my progression suffered in one way or another due to me making dumb excuses whenever I hit a rough patch or a wall. Hey, if this sounds like you, then you have to stick around all the way through because I'm going to be sharing with you some things that we can do together to grow. Over the years, I noted that I can sustain longer periods of concentrations on my hobby because I've become more patient with myself and I've been applying every bit of that in my photography and it's been paying off tremendously. When I first started, I was having so much fun and I was doing great. Then of course I hit a wall. I wasn't getting that rich bokeh that you see in all these professional photographers or like you see everywhere on Instagram. And that's something that I really wanted to achieve, but I didn't know how to do it. So then I started to research. And then I found out just how expensive photography can be. And because of that, I wanted to quit. But the reality was the truth, and I knew it deep down inside was that I didn't want to take the time to do a lot of investigating, a lot of research to find out how to capture this type of bokeh in a cost effective manner. Because, I mean, if I wouldn't do the research, I'd have to be shelling out a lot of money and just buy the high end stuff. But there had to be a cheap way, right? And there was. All I had to do was uh, purchase a $150 lens that everyone knows as a nifty 50. And that changed uh, my photography journey for the better and I've been keeping at it because of that. And this is just a little glimpse of some of the walls that I've hit personally. Another was that early on in my photography journey, uh, I found out that my portrait skills were absolutely trash. So what did I do? I didn't practice at all. I just ignored it, put it to the side. So what was my excuse? Well, I told myself that I didn't have time and that to learn how to use all that fancy lighting that those professional photographers use for portraits, I just couldn't be bothered with it because what's the point? It's, those are for professionals. I'm just doing this for fun, even though deep down, I really wanted to learn how to do it. But now that I'm taking the time to learn it, I'm starting to realize that it wasn't that difficult and that I was just being lazy. And in the long run, I was just hurting myself. And the only thing getting in the way was myself. All right, let's go back to my hobby. When I was 13, I became obsessed with playing the guitar. I would spend a minimum of eight hours a day playing. And I started to get really good. But no matter how good everyone thought I was, I never felt good enough because I knew that I wasn't as good as Jimi Hendrix or Steve Ray Vaughan or that five-year-old savant uh, that we all see on YouTube. And after playing religiously for 10 years, it really got to me. And I decided to stop playing simply because I didn't feel like I was good enough. And my excuse was that I wasn't a natural talent. I had to put in a lot of work. I mean, eight hours a day just to be somewhat good. And, and to me, to myself. And I thought if you wanted to be a really good guitarist, you just had to have it naturally. Otherwise, it just wasn't worth it. And so playing guitar stopped being fun because this was all in my head. I couldn't see past that. Now, back then I was 18 and I didn't know any better. I didn't have that many experiences in life. And if there's one thing you can take away from all of this is just that it's chances are that it's just in your head and that you are making progress. It might not be showing, but give us some time. Ask yourself often, is this hobby still bringing me joy? Do I still have passion? Otherwise, you'll just be spinning your wheels and not growing at the pace that you should be. Plus, you could be focusing on something else. Let me know in the comments if you ever caught yourself doing something like this. Look, now that I'm older and wiser, I know that learning something new should be treated like a long distance race and not a sprint. See, this prevents burnout and it helps you get your mental right when you start to hit those walls that you will hit. And this is why I think Making excuses for yourself 
It's one of the worst things you can do in photography. If you ever feel like you're struggling to grow or you're kind of lost, reach out to me at the, on this channel in the comments below or at my Instagram, which I'll have linked in the description and I'll have it in throughout this video as well. I don't know if I can help, but at the very least I can listen and give you some personal experience that I've had myself. Let me know in the comments if you have a suggestion. Maybe there's something that I missed and hopefully we can get out of the rut together. And like always, please give this video a like and subscribe. It really helps this channel grow and I appreciate it. Now that we're not making excuses for ourselves, let's get out there and pursue our passions.